Today I'm here with another yoga class, yoga for depression. As you know, this problem is very well known to us and uh, we are really victim of this problem uh, due to our uh, busy, uh, wrong lifestyle. We are really haunted by this uh, disorder. And I make this video and expect that uh, to some extent this will help you to eradicate uh, from that problem and you can live your life uh, uh, happily and healthy all right so let's begin the practice first uh, <coughs> come to a sitting position with a cross leg position bring your both hands to the knees close your eyes and uh, mentally just a feel your uh, breath relax your whole body For a while, imagine that you are completely relaxed and free to go forward and uh, enjoying the practice of yoga. To stay away from the problem that you you are in for a long time with your positive intention let's begin our practice slowly open our eyes I'm holding the knees nice and tight as we inhale just open chest look up and lower down your head and exhale squeeze the stomach make your back rounded stomach in lower down your head shoulders moving forward up inhale come up Look up, shoulders moving back, exhale, stomach in, lower down, slide leaning forward, shoulders moving forward, inhale, this is going to help you to make your spine active, energetic, flexible, so that you will be active energetic and flexible as well so we need to make our spine flexible and strong so the, the spine will make our body healthy and strong so spine is considered as the root of uh, the nerves uh, that is spread in our whole body Going up to five times at least. And inhale up and lean back. Open the chest and exhale. Stomach in, lower down, squeeze the stomach, shoulders moving forward. And I'm going to down with this. Relax for a while here. Slowly moving forward, come to the cobra pose. Inhale, slowly head up, look up, and arch back. And exhale, come back to the mountain pose here. Take your right leg up, exhale, bring it forward in between the both hands, drop the left knee on the floor, hips is going down, as you inhale, raise your both arms up, join the palms and bend back, 
You can hold here for three big breaths. And exhale. Lean forward, take your right leg back. So drop the knees, chest, chin on the floor. Inhale, head up and bend back. And exhale, come back to mountain. Swing the leg, take your left leg up. Exhale, bring it forward. Drop the right knee on the floor. Hips is going down. Open the chest. Inhale, raise your both arms up and bend back. Stomach in, open the chest. And exhale. Come back. Take your left leg back. Both knees, chest in on the floor. Inhale, head up and bend back. Exhale, come back to mountain. Okay, so if you are uh, having depression, always uh, do some activities that will make you a little outward, extrovert, uh, so that you can get rid of uh, the problem like depression, right? So, I've heard, uh, I will say, inward uh, position most of the time, go for the outward, right? One more time, take your right leg up as you inhale, exhale, bring it forward, in between the both hands, alright? Now, warrior one, join the palms over your head, hips is going down, open the chest, left leg straight, lock the knee, stomach in, and breathe, look up. Make sure you left heel on the floor, alright? And your hips is going down, sinking down. Exhale. Drop the left knee to your right. Knee on the floor, both knees on the floor, chest, chin on the floor. Inhale, get up. And bend back. Legs, exhale. Hips up and down. Your left leg all the way off toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring it forward in between the both hands. Right in on the floor, hips going down. As you inhale, raise your both arms up over your head. Join the palms, open the chest forward. Stomach in, breathe. So, in each step, you may breathe up to five slow, long and deep. At the same time, feel as if you are getting more active, energetic and stronger. So lower down, take your left leg back. Drop the knee chest in the floor. Inhale, head up and bend back. Exhale. Hips up, head down. So mostly we we'll have to focus on a gentle back bending posture. Those who make us able to open up for our body. At the same time, we will be more confident to go further. All right. So we are not supposed to going to the introvert posture, rise, this will make us more aggravate, take your right leg up, exhale forward, in between the both hands, and inhale, come to the warrior two, look to the right hand fingers, hips is going down, open the chest, turn them up, the shoulders over the hips, the chin over the right shoulder, look to the right hand fingers. Be more confident, 
when you're taking good in feel you are getting energized powerful so your eyes should be like a warrior and next so go down take your right leg back drop the knee chest in on the floor inhale slide forward head up look up and back and exhale back to mountain all down the whatever you like to say left leg as you inhale up and exhale bring it forward in between the both hands slide feet on the floor inhale come up now turning to right side come to warrior 2 the virabhadrasana 2 so here just you are expanding your upper body sinking your uh, hips down stomach in and look to the left hand fingers and so the body language should be like a warrior you are more confident more stronger positive and exhale go down take your left leg back drop the knee chest in on the floor inhale head up and then back exhale now here you may relax for two minutes right in child pose you may use the block underneath your uh, the forehead or the right you can stay here that's not a problem at all Inhale slowly, come up, come to the kneeling position here. We'll go for the Ustrasana. You may go for the simplification of Ustrasana. So bring your both hands to the waist here. Now push your hips forward. At the same time, lower down your upper body and look up. You may stay here and breathe. Or if you want, you can adjust to go for the stress them. So turning to right side, hold the right heel with the right hand. Similarly, hold the left heel with the left hand. All right. So hips is a moving forward. Shoulders is moving out. And lower down the head. Look up. Stomach in. Breathe. Open the chest. Breathe. Stomach, stomach is lifting. At the same time, feel the contraction at the back side of the body and the expansion at the front side of the body. So the organs will be expanded, getting more cells stimulated. And thus, uh, we're going to help to make us more stronger. So when you release from this uh, posture, once again come to the child pose here. Yeah? All right. And slowly moving forward, come to the front position once again. We'll go for the dhanurasan, the bow pose that is going to help us to make our body more flexible, active and uh, strong and this is going to increase uh, the confident level alright so fold your legs here if you want uh, the simplification of the Dhanurasana then you can hold the one single leg alright so left leg uh, straight and extend your left arm forward alright inhale come up and lift you can go for this simplification a sort of rasam and see the leg here inhale come and lift 
four, four for five breath. Slow it down. Now the both legs, the Dhanurasana, all right? So hold it nice and tight from outside. Make a grip, strong grip, all right? As you inhale, head, chest up, up to level level at the same time. You're lifting your both legs up. Look up, look up more higher. When you're lifting your whole body, you have, you're increasing the confidence level within yourself. And slow relax. We we'll place the forehead on the back of the hands uh, and uh, three more big breaths here. Inhale slowly, come up, come back to the sitting position here. Now go for the cow face pose. All right. So your right knee over the left knee, both hip. For your feet beside the hips, all right. So staying here. Now take your, if your right knee over the left knee, then take your left arm up, fold it back. I'll take your right arm behind, fold it, and interlace the fingers here. Making your back straight, stomach in, stay here and breathe. Your chest is expanding forward. At the same time, your shoulders, your left shoulders, you're moving back. Slightly pushing forward, slightly out, simply. Add back, look front. Try to make your spine straight here. Although slightly leaning back. Release. Let's swing the sides with the leg here. Now just turn your left knee over the right knee. Alright, now take your right arm up, fold it back so that the, your right hand on the spine. With the left hand back, fold it, interlace the fingers. Alright, so both hands on the spine with the interlock fingers. Your right elbow just behind your back of the head, close, touching. Open the chest, the armpit, stomach in. Slightly add back if you need to push your chest, your lower arms, your upper abdomen forward. slowly release. Stretch out the legs forward here and shake. Shake the legs. Now we'll go for one more posture. The, that will be the last posture of this class. Uh, the Sutta Vajrasana. Alright. So come to Vajrasana first here. You may use uh, the blocks here. Alright. Use one block in between your both uh, feet here, so the your buttocks resting on the blocks, all right? And put uh, two blocks here under your upper body, upper back. So the uh, care, the care very slowly lower down, all right? So the <coughs> Upper back approach to the, the shoulders, the scapula resting on the blocks here. You may extend your both hands uh, back 
or you can fold it and uh, just uh, hold the elbows from outside stay here so this is uh, going to help you to make your upper body expand it getting massage to the lower upper back and there will be a space, the enough space to relax the whole upper body. At the same time, you are getting a sense of uh, relaxing. Stay here up to two minutes with a slow, long, and deep breath in and out. When you're done with this, uh, very slowly release your both hands, bring your both hands so you're close to the hips and hold the ankles here. Now we're dropping the elbows with the help of the elbows, just press the elbows against the floor and slowly come up. Now fold your legs and uh, hold it nice and tight with the interlock fingers and feel the pressure at the lower abdomen, feel the compression at the same time feel a sense of muscles at the lower back yes chest is still opening up the shoulders is lowering down relaxing now relaxing sabasan for a while but in Sabhasana, we can add uh, one breathing that is uh, called as abdominal breathing, the diaphragmatic breathing, where our diaphragm will be pressed down to the abdominal walls and the abdominal wall will be expanded, all right? So, inhale deep, slow, long. Exhale, your stomach is contracting the abdominal muscles, it's moving down. Keep doing like this up to 10 times. same time feel your whole body is getting relaxed and you are feeling more stronger active energetic Sure, your abdomen is expanding while you are inhaling and it is contracting when you are exhaling. Now, when you are done with this uh, abdominal breathing, just straighten your both hands sideways, palm facing down, fold your both legs and move your knees side to side. A twisting at the same time, a massaging the lower back three times in each side. As 
slowly turning to the right side here. Come back to the cross leg position. We'll move into some breathing techniques. All right, so at the end of uh, this class, you can go for breathing. The Bhastrika, Papalabhati, and the abdominal breathing. These three techniques are recommended in, uh, in case of you are uh, suffering from depression. But uh, do not practice uh, Brahmari, neither Yoganitra. These two practices uh, are not recommended in case uh, of a depression, right? So we'll practice uh, the Bhastrika in this class and you can practice the Kapalabhati or abdominal breathing, depends on you, alright? So let's begin the practice of Bhastrika and if you are uh, new to this class, you can check out uh, the Bhastrika Pranayama in my other yoga videos, you can get it and practice, alright? So let's begin the practice with the Bhastrika. Bring your both hands to the knees here, alright? Bhastrika is a active inhalation and active exhalation, alright? So you have to stroke your abdomen and uh, make your abdomen up and down, expanding and uh, contracting, alright? Let me show you three rounds. You can practice up to five rounds, but each round contains uh, uh, ten times a stroke. Uh, ten times you have to contract and uh, expand. All right, let me show you one round first. Inhale deeply. No step. So in this way you have to contract and expand your abdominal walls up to 10 times at the beginning. Alright, so at the beginning you can practice up to 3 rounds and later on you can increase the rounds uh, up to 5 or 7 rounds. Alright, so at the end of this breathing you can relax for a while. Okay. A spontaneous uh, natural breathing and relax your abdomen, the organs, and feel your whole body. Rotate your awareness uh, throughout your body parts. Feel your whole body is completely relaxed, free from stress. Free from any tightness. Now rotate your awareness to the your natural breathing. Feel the length of the breath. Your breath is a uh, an awareness because with the breathing you can rotate your awareness. So breathing is the most important in yoga. So do not ignore breath even if for a single moment. This uh, practice will end this uh, 
class with the three ohm chanting all together. Inhale deeply. Inner silence. Feel as if we are getting more active, energetic, powerful. Just with a positive intention, suggest to yourself you are free from all tension from all these errors and you can do anything you can maintain a healthy a beautiful life and then can maintain a happy and peaceful life This, uh, just rub your palms, make it heat. And place it in closed eyes. In a gently massage your eyeballs. Slow and gentle. Massage your ears. back of the neck in front of the neck and then the palms very slowly open your eyes namaste all right so this is all for today uh, in yoga class, uh, I hope for you really enjoyed it and uh, practice it uh, very happy and peacefully. And uh, keep practicing. I suggest you at least uh, give uh, five to sorry, fifteen to twenty minutes uh, for your health. Uh, this is gonna helpful to make you healthy and uh, make you away from the stress, uh, depression and anxiety, right? And uh, keep uh, doing regular practice along with uh, your uh, diet and you try to change your lifestyle. If you are feeling not uh, well, please try to change and always go outside uh, and uh, make a friendship with the, the people to whom you believe do not stay at home this is gonna make you more depressed all right and eat healthy food all right see you next time with another video till then keep smiling namaste